Well, this is certainly uh, cleaner, smoother, but there's some little uh, hint in there of uh, something different. But overall, the structure is very smooth, clean, but I'm not getting a big brightness. That makes me think that this may be a, an alternative processing method, not the classic Columbia washed. But it could be a very, very delicate, carefully performed I'm guessing at this point it's a very it does, it's not very bright like the traditional Columbia washed coffee it, but it's very balanced it's very nice it's good sweetness so I suspect that it's either a very clean natural processed or a honey processed and the variety I can't say it doesn't leap out at me I don't get any gesha, but some geshas are not so gesha-like these days, but I doubt it. I think it's probably, uh, it could be a pink bourbon, actually. There's a, a, a variety that's emerged in, uh, I think in the Huila province, that's called pink bourbon, that some people think came from, uh, originally from Ethiopia. My guess it's a, a standard tree variety that's been processed uh, clean as a clean natural, in other words, without having any of the alcoholic like uh, fermenty character, or more likely a honey coffee. A honey coffee, by the way, is the, the skin is removed from the fruit, but the all or some of the fruit residue, the, the um, fruit, uh, the fruit flesh is allowed to stay on the bean and it's dried with the fruit flesh around it. So that uh, speeds up the drying, which is slowed down by the skin, but uh, still gives some, tends to, to uh, bring some sugars into play during the drying. And like natural, it's a tricky process, the drying. If it's too damp, it can get off tasting, a little musty. If it's a honey, it's a very clean one. Very nice. Someone who doesn't like uh, acidity or brightness in coffee would, uh, but likes a classic coffee taste, would probably like this one very much. I was going to say that I'm getting a, a maybe a little salty note in the finish. So this, the salty note could suggest that it's a natural that was dried too fast. In other words, if the, uh, if the coffee is dried in the fruit, and it's dried slowly, you get a fruity character, sometimes an alcoholic, uh, alcohol character, a fermenty alcohol, like a wine-like character, or brandy-like. But uh, if the natural is dried quickly, it often has a kind of a nut taste, which I don't completely get here either. But you do sometimes get a little hint of salt in the structure. Yeah, I'm not getting any of the, I'm not getting that nut taste, but I am getting... Um, but if there's a good sugars, too, the good sweetness. Oh, yeah, yeah, a nice sweetness. Nice sweetness and mild, really uh, a coffee that I would uh, certainly recommend to someone. So what is this? Well, I'm real familiar with this one. This is the house drip, so there's nothing about it on here, and I could ask Tim... Well, no, it's the, probably a washed coffee. Shoulders. It's probably washed, yeah. yeah. Uh, it says, uh, you know, rich snippets of praline and smooth chocolate. Well, the smooth chocolate is obvious. Um, but it's Does, reliable. Uh, I, 
is it the <laughs> what uh, is there any other name or like a province or department no. or no nothing no huh? nothing anything about processing no nothing no. well i guess i'm wrong then uh in this case, I was uh, right on with the first one, so I'm batting 500. That's still pretty good. Uh, <laughs> it's, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah, you're pretty good. Uh, <laughs> I, this is, uh, I guess this is just a, uh, a washed coffee that was chosen because it's quiet. Quiet and balanced, I would say. Somebody uh, who's trying to, to seduce their customers with a very smooth, easy drinking uh, version of a Columbia coffee. And uh, Tim uh, may be quite uh, deliberate. We're talking about Tim Coonan, who is the yeah. chief person at this Roaster Big Shoulders in uh, Chicago, Kevin's, yes. Kevin's region of- My stopping ground. Yeah, and uh, he's clearly, um, this is a, a real popular coffee. I, I don't I don't get the numbers. He's never shared them with me, but I certainly this is kind of the de rigor, uh, Columbia. If you're looking at big shoulders and you don't want to take a chance on getting anything that is any kind of uh, of the of the new processes, this is the closest to the classic Colombian. It's been roasted a little, it taken a little farther in the roast than that. Uh, Mm -hmm. Amazon uh, fresh sample, which uh, was uh, surprisingly uh, light roasted, I thought. But uh, this has the advantage for me. I like sweetness in coffee. I don't like bitterness. Uh, I'm not alone in that, I guess. But uh, me too. I like it because uh, there, it it does not have the bitter fi finish, and it uh, and it's sweet. Uh, on the other hand, it has, to me, has less character and less going on aromatically than the previous uh, cup. Previous cup had very distinct chocolate notes. I can find chocolate here, but it doesn't really present itself uh, in, uh, in a kind of a little uh, chocolate dance in front when you first taste it. Yeah, I would, I would say, uh uh, balance over adventure. <laughs>